The argument wasn't as to whether or not the weapons of mental destruction existed. The advice was inaccurate. That's, that's fact number one. Let's roll. Peaceful efforts to disarm the Iraqi regime have failed again, again, and again. Weapons of mass destruction, destruction, weapons of mass destruction. This is not a question of authority. authority. It is a question, a, question, a question of will. Weapons of mass destruction, destruction, weapons of mass destruction. Saddam Hussein and his sons, and his sons. must leave Iraq within 48 hours. Weapons of mass destruction, destruction, weapons of mass destruction. Their refusal to do so will result in military... He has not developed any significant capability with respect to weapons of mass destruction. He is unable to project conventional power against his neighbors. You might remember that I called him a man of steel. That's Texan for fair dinkum. What? What you gonna play now? We are determined and we are prepared to join other countries the United States with other countries to deprive Iraq the Iraqi regime of its weapons of mass destruction weapons of mass its destruction chemical and biological weapons biological which even in minute quantities chemical are capable capable of causing put it this way death death and destruction destruction death a day of horror yeah. a day of horror death yes a day of horror and destruction put it this way yes a day of horror yeah. a day of horror death yes a day of horror. Death. Yes. A day of horror like none we have ever known. We are the two. We are the two. What? 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 How will we fight and win this war? We will direct every resource at our command, every means of diplomacy, every tool of intelligence, every instrument of law enforcement, every financial influence, and every necessary weapon of war. Whether we bring our enemies to justice or bring justice to our enemies, justice will be done. Every nation in every region now has a decision to make. Either you are with us, or you are with the terrorists. I have a message for our military. Be ready. Basically this one is an expelling round. When we fire it, it dumps out grenades. 88 grenades dump out. They drop down and some of them will bounce up and it'll get you about chest high. Why do they hate us?
is a regime arming with missiles and weapons of mass destruction. Peaceful efforts to disarm the Iraqi regime have failed again and again. Iran aggressively pursues these weapons and exports terror. The United States and other nations did nothing to deserve or invite this threat. The Iraqi regime has plotted to develop anthrax and nerve gas. The United States of America has the sovereign authority to use force in assuring its own national security. Our war against terror is only beginning. That duty falls to me as Commander-in-Chief. And nuclear weapons, by the oath I have sworn, by the oath I will keep. Biological, this is not a question of authority. Chemical, it is a question of will. States like these, by the oath I have sworn, and their terrorist allies, by the oath I will keep, constitute an axis of evil. The United States and our allies are authorized to use force in ridding Iraq of weapons of mass destruction. Biological weapons of mass destruction. Chemical Saddam Hussein and his sons must leave Iraq within 48 hours. Thousands of dangerous killers schooled in the methods of murder. Their refusal to do so will result in military conflict. Access of evil at a time of our choosing. Spread throughout the world like ticking time bombs set to go off without warning. And all Iraqi military and civilian personnel should listen carefully to this warning. We will develop and deploy effective missile defenses to protect America. Do not destroy oil wells. Or nuclear weapons from threatening the United States. You should listen carefully. Access of evil to this warning. Do not destroy oil wells. With weapons of mass destruction. Weapons of mass destruction. Whatever it costs to defend our country, we will pay. The United Nations Security Council has not lived up to its responsibilities. So we will rise to ours. fight with the full force and might of the United States military, and we will prevail. believe that the effort that has been directed to this point has been sufficiently intense that it is highly unlikely that there were large stockpiles of deployed, militarized chemical and biological weapons there. out uh, we were all wrong probably in my judgment and that is most disturbing
We are the two. We are the two. <laughs>
time of our choosing. Weapons of mass, weapons of mass, weapons of mass destruction.